Question, how often do Leviton GFCI receptacles test themselves? Do you see this little green LED? That means that this particular GFCI receptacle made by Leviton has passed its most recent self-test. For the answer, I'll go to the Leviton website. And it says right here on the website, a self-test GFCI receptacle has all the features of a conventional GFCI receptacle. In addition, this receptacle performs a self-test every 15 minutes to confirm that GFCI electronics are functional. Something else I'd like to point out about this particular GFCI receptacle is that it's labeled no equipment ground. So there's no ground coming to this receptacle. Now I think that Sparky Channel viewers are the smartest viewers on the entire internet. That's the way I feel. And then I'd like you to come up with a conclusion to answer the little question, why? First, I'll plug in my ideal outlet tester and notice it has one green light on the left side. Then if you look at the index, you see that that means open ground. Now let's try the built-in GFCI tester. Well, nothing happened. That is, the GFCI did not trip. Perhaps it was my tester. I'll try my Klein RT250 GFCI outlet tester. It says 119 volts AC, open ground, and it says fault. Let's try its GFCI test. Once again, it did not trip the GFCI receptacle. Now let's try pressing the test button on the GFCI receptacle itself. That did trip the GFCI. And it resets as well. Have you figured out why this occurs? If you need more time, just hit the pause button because I have an explanation from Leviton's GFCI expert. I wrote them and asked them about this and they wrote back and gave me a very good explanation. Hey Bill, I spoke with our GFCI expert. A plug-in tester is typically fine. The main issue arises when you have a GFCI that is installed without a ground connection. That's as in my example. This is a perfectly acceptable installation and in fact is the acceptable method of installing a grounding type receptacle to replace non-grounded type, marking each GFCI and downstream receptacle as having no equipment ground. Of course, I have several videos on just that subject. In this case, a plug-in tester will not trip the GFCI as they create the current imbalance by dumping current to ground. With no ground connection, there will be no current flowing and therefore no imbalance for the GFCI to detect. So that's why my ideal and my Klein outlet testers with the GFCI testing function didn't work. And it says the GFCI test reset process is able to create that imbalance internally in the device through a connection between load hot and line neutral. So that's why when I simply press the test button on the GFCI, that worked. So if you got that right, let me know in the comment section below the video. I'd be interested to hear how you figured it out. So the moral to the story, is when you're testing a GFCI that has no equipment ground, don't use your outlet tester. Just use the test and reset buttons on the GFCI itself. And I wanna thank Leviton for writing me back and giving me all this good information. I'll put links in my video description for the testers that you saw in the video, the Ideal and the Klein testers, and I'll put links for various kinds of insulated screwdrivers, which are excellent to work with when doing electrical work. And I'll put links for Leviton GFCI receptacles, including weather-resistant GFCI receptacles. Thanks, I hope this video was helpful.